Right, Stuart, I'm shocked. <laughs> I am shocked that shocked? you you don't understand why people like me and millions of other Americans right. are ups upset, annoyed, and uh, looking for answers that a guy like right. Common mm -hmm. would be entertained at the White House. Now, look at the picture. It's hard not to blame us, but time forgives in the shy where the young die often. Common traveled to Cuba, mm -hmm. all right, to meet with Joanne Chesimard, mm -hmm. who was convicted mm -hmm. of killing a New Jersey state trooper. Common said, quote, damn, this was somebody who fought for my freedom. Mm -hmm. This is a cop killer. This right. is a woman who gunned down, along with two other accomplices, a woman mm -hmm. who is a member of the Black Liberation Army, right. who they found 16 live rounds in her purse. Mm -hmm. And this guy mm -hmm. thinks she's great. Thinks she's innocent. No. She's great. Well, well, but also this was somebody who fought me, for my freedom. It yeah. made me want to do better in life. I can't. I can't speak for him because I'm not him. Yes. I don't think. Not yet. I'm. You know. I'm. I'm. Uh, I can rap. I rapped on the show, and I think it was pretty impressive. Oh, Riley. Oh, really? I know that you feel me because I jokes to the folks while you choke on that smoke. You are saying that he is celebrating. A cop killer or promoting cop killing? No, I'm not saying he's saying? promoting cop killing. Well, people on your network are. Let's just speak to me. All right, all right, I'm talking to you. Celebrating, celebrating okay. a cop killer? Yes. Okay. Here's the only distinction I would make there, and I can't speak for him. What I think he's doing is not celebrating, but honoring someone he thinks was wrongly convicted of cop killing. I think he believes she was convicted unjustly. Okay. So, now, again. So that's fine. And if Common wasn't even born when this crime took place, right. thinks that based on nothing because the evidence is overwhelming. Okay. All right. He's entitled as American to do that. The President of the United States, though, mm -hmm. takes him into all the right. House, all right. all right, thereby thereby validating him. Come on. That was a bad decision. You're, you you're know saying, it was a you're bad saying decision. saying that by having him at the White House, that, in essence, was tacit approval of everything he's ever done. No. To some extent. It validates him, all right? And as an elevate, It elevates him as, an as, a, as a poet or whatever. Mm -hmm. Do you know how many poets would have liked to have been there? Let me, let me ask well, you a question. No, no. Let me ask you a question. Right. Why was he selected, in your opinion? Why did he get that honor, in your opinion? Because I think he's not defined as an artist by this uh, uh, Asada Shakur this case. Is big. I think he's defined, well, I, I think it probably isn't as big in, in, in his career as, as you might think it is. Yeah, look. Let, 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 me, let me go to a different point, if I may. It sounds like what you're saying is, and correct me if I'm wrong, and I don't want to be wrong when I'm with you, because you know I got mad love for you. That's a rap phrase. I got it. All right. <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong. What you're saying is, if an artist supports someone that has been convicted of killing a cop, they should not be allowed to go to the White House. No, it's, it's a little bit little. more than that. Okay, say it again. I am saying that when a president invites someone, in this case the first lady invites someone, okay. the resume has to be put in front of them. Mm -hmm. And they have to select people uh -huh. who are almost unimpeachable, all mm -hmm. right, because they're getting that honor to go to the White House. Right. This guy is controversial all day long with this stuff. Not only did he support this cop killer or celebrate the cop killer, he celebrated another one in Philadelphia. Again, he's celebrating someone he thinks was unjustly. He's not celebrating. Is this Perry is, Nason we're talking about now? Is this the most brilliant lawyer of all time? Who? This comment. Oh, oh, oh comment. Well, well, let me ask you a question. On. Are you familiar with, with Leonard Peltier? Yes. Okay. Leonard Peltier was convicted of killing two All right, FBI now we're agents. going on to wounded knee. It's okay. similar. Uh huh. All right. No, it's not. You're, you're, well, why you're is petty, it not? Because you're petty fogging the issue. It's the exact same thing. It's a guy convicted of killing. A law enforcement official. Now, guess who wrote a song about Leonard Peltier? Yeah. Bono. Okay. Guess where he was? The White House. Booyah! All right. That's a rap word. Did Bono... Yes. Did he actually come out and say that he was innocent? Well, I think that's the, the crux of the song. No, I think it was raising no. questions about it. And, and, and the basic now, theme... Now who's pettifogging? Now okay. I can't even Look, see you. I can't... Through your I... pettifog. No, that is exactly the same. Okay. Bob Dylan wrote a song yeah. about a convicted killer named Hurricane Carter. He's been to the White House. Why are you drawing the line at common? There is a selective outrage machine here at Fox that pettifogs 
only when it suits the narrative that suits them. This guy is in the crosshairs in a way that he shouldn't be. Whether you agree with him or not, over you may think he's ignorant in believing that Asada Shakur is innocent. You may think he's ignorant in believing that Mummy is. But then guess what? Bono can't go to the White House. Springsteen can't go to the White House. Bob Dylan can't go to the White House. You got a lot of people that aren't allowed to sit in the White House because they've written songs about people convicted of murder.